In this video, I will show you how to fix if Vencord is not working. So if you're having problems with the themes and plugins or Vencord is simply not working, it keeps crashing, then follow along with me for some solutions to resolve this problem. Now, as you can see, we're here, we've currently got Discord open. So the first thing you're gonna to want to do is completely close down Discord. So you wanna close this down, come down to the bottom right hand corner and click onto this arrow to show hidden icons. Then what you need to do is look for the Discord icon, right click and click on to quit Discord. So this is gonna fully exit out of Discord. Now once that's done, you wanna come and open up a new internet browser, come across to google.com and just type download Vencord into the Google search box. Then click onto the top result to download Vencord. So it's gonna take you across to the download website and all you wanna do is download the Vencord installer onto your PC. Once this is finished installing, go ahead and click onto it to open it up. And this can open up a window like this. All you want to do first is come down and click onto the reinstall repair option just down here. So what we're going to do is try repairing Vencord. So as you can see, it should come up with a message saying successfully patched. So what we can do is click OK. Then we can open up Discord and see if that fixed the problem. Now, if that didn't work for you, the second thing to try is, again, you want to download the installer, run it. And what we're going to do is perform a clean uninstallation and reinstallation of Vencord and Discord. So this time on this window, what you're going to do is come down and click onto the red uninstall button. Then on the message that comes up, you want to click OK and just close this down and then come back to to your desktop. Now once you've done that, what we're gonna do is clear the cache for Discord. Now to do that, you wanna come down to the bottom left hand corner to your search box and just type run into the search box. Underneath best match, you should see the run app, so just click onto that to open it up. Then what you want to do is type the following, which is the percent symbol, then app data, then another percent symbol and then press enter on your keyboard. What that's gonna do is open up a window like this and from here you want to locate the Discord folder. So you can see that's just here. Double click to go into the Discord folder. What we want to do from here is delete the cache, code cache and GPU and dawn cache folders. So these four folders here. So you wanna basically highlight all of those and then press delete on your keyboard. So it just might take a minute or two to do this. And once that's done, we have successfully cleared the cache. Now, what we need to do next is uninstall Discord. So to do that, come back down to your search box in the bottom left-hand corner and type remove programs. Underneath this match, you should see add or remove programs. Click onto this to open up the window like this and from here you want to use the search box and just go ahead and type discord what you can then do is click onto this and uninstall discord from your pc so once you've done that and you've uninstalled discord and vencord and you've cleared the cache what you're going to want to do is simply reinstall discord and vencord onto your pc so what you want to do is open up a new internet browser come across to google and just type download discord into the search box it's going to be the top result that comes up, discord.com forward slash downloads. So you want to click onto this link and download this back onto your PC. So once that's finished downloading, just click onto the setup program to reinstall Discord onto your PC. So as you can see, it's currently reinstalling. It's just going to finish downloading the updates and then we will have it successfully reinstalled Discord onto our PC. So here we are back on Discord. Now you can see that's been reinstalled. So what we're now going to do is reinstall Vencord. So again, you wanna come across to Google and then go ahead and type Vencord download into the search box and hit enter. And then just basically download and reinstall Vencord on your PC. Once you follow these steps, this should successfully fix any problems with Vencord not working. You should now be able to use this absolutely fine with no problems. And that is how to fix if Vencord is not working or you have any, any problems using the themes or plugins associated with Vencord and that should fully resolve the problem. So with that being said I hope this tutorial did help you out today and if this did help you out I would really appreciate it if you was to consider dropping down below the video, leaving a like and also subscribing to the channel. With that being said I just want to take a minute to thank you guys for watching this quick tutorial and I will see you in the next video.